Hello, this is Alex Eames from raspi.tv. Prompted by a comment on the Raspberry Pi blog by Stuart Watkiss, I have decided that it would be a good opportunity to try and do a stress test of the new Pi Hub. So I'm going to attempt to connect four Raspberry Pis to the Pi Hub and power them all from it at once. Uh, you can see here I've got one. This is the Raspberry Pi camcorder, which I've plugged into the main most powerful 1.1 amp port. The other three ports all um, give 500 milliamps. So I've got uh, another Raspberry Pi in the Toxic Pi row here, another Pi which is covered with a uh, development board I've been working on, and over here we've got my weather station Pi which is normally permanently left on and sending weather feed information uh, up to COSM which is now Zively. I've also plugged in the LCD screen just to give it an extra little stress test. So uh, now I'm going to connect everything up and connect, I'm going to put the camera on a tripod and going to share with you the very first time. I haven't tried this yet, I don't know if it's going to work, although I think it will. So I'm going to tripod the camera and show you uh, as I connect up the Pi Hub for the first time. Um, one of the Pies, the one with the dev board on, is connected to this screen. The rest of them I will have to log in remotely, except for the uh, the Raspberry camcorder. I can show you whether that's working or not because it's got LEDs on, and if I press the buttons, that will be working. But we can log into all of them by SSH. Okay, on with the show then. Okay, the moment of truth is here. So I'm going to grab the power cable and I'm going to plug it into the power socket on the Pi Hub, which is this one and we will see what happens. All right, we've got lots of lights everywhere. We've got action on the screen. So we've got some LEDs on over there. We've got uh, the backlight on the LCD over there is on. And what about the Pi, the toxic Pi bow? Pi, yeah, that's booting. We've got LED action on the uh, on the Wi-Fi dongle. The Raspberry camcorder looks like it's booting. Okay, so what I'm going to do while the others will boot, the Raspberry camcorder might take a bit longer to boot. I'm going to log in on this one. Okay, and that's logged in fine as you can see in the top of the screen. Those LEDs are they, they normally on, they're just the ones which are on the I squared C and the SPI chip select ports, they usually come on, so that's as, as I would expect. And now I need to fire up the weather station and get the screen working for that, and then we can test everything all at once. Okay, so I fired up the uh, weather station with the LCD, and I don't know, you probably can't see that. I'm going to have to take the camera off the tripod to show you that. You can see that that's working fine, even with a nice bright LCD on it. Excellent. And I've logged on to that on my computer over the other side of the room. So now I'm going to have a go with the Raspberry camcorder, see if that's working. Let's press the blue button and if it's working we should get a red LED. Splendid. Look at that, we've got one. Turn it around. Red one, red LED on the front as well. So that's recording merrily. Let's just stop that. Excellent. That's working. That one's clearly working as well. And the Wi-Fi dongle's happily flashing away. Okay, so what I need to do is, that one's also working with the Wi-Fi dongle. I'm going to log in and just check that everything's working. Okay, if we just take a quick look over here at my monitor over there, you'll see I've got two Raspberry Pis. I've logged into two Raspberry Pis. That's the two with the Wi-Fi dongles on. This is the weather... Uh, this is the... So I've logged into two Raspberry Pis. This is the weather station which I've, you can see is going, and this is the Toxic Pi Bow Raspberry Pi, 
which isn't actually doing anything at the moment. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to try and run everything at once just as an optimum stress test. Okay, so I'm going to switch on the Raspberry camcorder, that's the blue button. So I'm going to be filming there. You should still you should see the spill from the LEDs. And I'm going to run a program on this one which will cycle the LEDs. And I'm going to show you that the weather station, if I tilt it, you should be able to see the screen. The weather station's working. So Although I'm not driving them particularly hard, you've therefore got conclusive proof there, or I better turn off the Raspberry camcorder because that's recording. Don't really want to waste up all the space. Conclusive proof there that you can run four Raspberry Pis from the Pi Hub at once. Pretty cool. This was Alex Eames for Raspberry TV. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to subscribe to our YouTube channel, then you'll get notifications when we update with new videos. You can also follow us on Facebook, Twitter, or visit us at the Raspberry TV blog.